My name is Liz and my business is Cozy Blue here in Asheville, North Carolina. I uh, design and create embroidery patterns and kits. The name Cozy Blue comes from my Cozy Blue house and studio. It's just my favorite place to be and where I do all of my creating and living and all the good stuff. I was working part-time as a nurse on the weekends and uh, had just had my daughter so she was she was a baby I was staying home with her during the week and then working weekends and I was doing a lot of sewing and crafting for her making like clothes and knitting hats and making stuffed animals and things and so I kind of got back into embroidery via the things that I was making for her so I, I kind of just kept going with it you know and kept embroidering different things and that that sort of grew into learning how to screen print it just took a lot of time, you know, and so it was time that I didn't have to be working on new stuff and designing new patterns. And I found out about Spoonflower and then basically spent six months learning how to use Adobe Illustrator so that I could draw things digitally. And, you know, I didn't know at all how to, how to do that. Yeah, I think that's just kind of the nature of being a creative person is like, you know, figuring out how things work and making it work for you and and going down that path, you know. I think my favorite thing is just being able to structure my days the way that I want to. I've got a lot of freedom to, to chase a new idea that pops up or family obligations or something like that happen, then I can I can be there. I think I'm just a person who works pretty well on my own and I'm very um, I like strategies and routines and so I'm really good at just kind of creating those those strategies for myself as far as work goes. So every month on the first of the month my Stitch Club members get a package in the mail that contains a pre-printed fabric pattern and the floss to go with it. And the patterns are brand new each month. Um, I design new ones every time so no one's ever seen them before, no one's ever stitched them before, including me. And then we spend that month uh, stitching it together and we post progress on Instagram and it's kind of a like an online community of stitchers where people can post their progress and ask questions and see what other club members are doing. I find that for myself I am so introverted and I'm such a homebody that I tend to not, I tend to not go out often. So. Uh, I find a lot of support and comfort in that, just an online community of people who are interacting with me. It's always good to have a group of people that are kind of cheering you on and supporting you. And working on the same stuff is kind of fun because my Stitch Club members are scattered all over the place. It's a nice way to have the, that sense of community you know, for people that may not have that in their town or in their life physically, surrounding yourself with other creative people and people that are doing the things that are interesting to you and that are inspiring to you. I think that's really valuable to have that kind of that kind of community in your life.